My name is Dakota and welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and doing really well. And today I'm going to be reviewing Maverick by Aaron Terrence Hughes. Let's get into it. So this is going to be a full presentation review of Maverick by Aaron Terrence Hughes. Unfortunately, when we get into the bottle portion, my little turntable has broken. My replacement has not came in yet, but I figure we can go ahead and get into this now. So all of Aaron Terrence Hughes bottles come in, I think this exact packaging. I like this packaging, me personally. It's it's simple, but it's also straight to the point. So then you kind of got to wiggle that out a little bit. And this is a 50 ml bottle of Maverick by Aaron Terrence Hughes. So the first thing we're going to do is get into the atomizer. And I will say the atomizers that he has chosen to go with this line are amazing. These things are highly pressurized and the burst is insane. Like that is, that is a good, good atomizer. I know it's one thing, it's weird to get excited about something like that, but it's something that I really like. So what I'm going to do is put a big, like prime example, I wish I'd have got a better shot of that. When you start spraying and you work down your arm, I literally just sprayed from my wrist Let's see if you can see the wool trail. Nope. I literally just sprayed from my wrist almost to my elbow. Like it shoots down your arm. It is amazing. And speaking of amazing, that will get us into the scent of this particular fragrance. This is a wonderful, wonderful scent. Aaron Terrence Hughes, I know he doesn't have, I know he doesn't get a lot of hype. Some of his fragrances do. I don't feel like this one in particular gets very much hype. But I feel like of his collection, this might be one of the ones that has slept on. I really like this one. Like I said, so since I don't have my turntable, I'm not going to worry about changing up shots. We're just going to do everything face value. So the top notes on this particular fragrance are going to be lemon, bergamot, and mandarin orange. And you do get a lot of citrus when you first spray this on, but it's done softly enough that it's not harsh. It's not overwhelming. It's incredibly well blended. So on the opening notes on this, it's just, it's a, it's a very nice fragrance. It's one that you, you want to come back to. The middle notes on this is probably what I love the most because it's going to be tonka bean, vanilla, and plum. Oddly enough, plum is one of those fragrances where a lot of people love them, but a lot of people hate them. But I also really like the tonka bean and vanilla. And I want to say the sweetness on this one, if I, if I remember correctly, he uses Lang Lang as a sweetener, which is more of a more natural sweetener, less artificial. So you're going to get a very naturally sweet smell coming out of this. And the base notes on Maverick are gonna be nutmeg, patchouli, and cedar. So it's not a very aggressive wood. It's a, it's a very soft dry down. It's a very easy fragrance to wear. You'd have no problem wearing this anywhere. It does lead more toward probably fall and winter more than summer and spring. It's not an overly complicated scent, but it's one that the way it dries down, the way the scent present uh, presents itself on the skin, it's it's more of a more powerful scent. And a lot of your more powerful scents, especially one that uses like vanilla, the tonka bean, cedar, nutmeg, those are gonna be more of your fall winter style of fragrances, but you could probably get away with this wearing this all year round. I will try to get in and kind of show this bottle off a little bit. Aaron Terrence Hughes has a very unique style to say the least. So you're gonna have the infamous unicorn, you're gonna have uh, some jewels around the bottle. But all in all, this bottle is about as simple and plain as you can get. And that's actually what I love about it. I said in a different video, it was actually doing the uh, Phantom by Paco Rabanne, that I didn't mind a gimmicky bottle. I, I really don't mind a gimmicky bottle. I kind of I kind of like it in some regards. I like it when people try to do different things, make something new. As long as the atomizer is good. That's, my, that's been my big thing on any gimmicky style of bottle, as long as the atomizer works well. And, you know, in Phantom's case, it does. Not as good as this one though, but it still does. But also, I think the bottles that I love the most though are ones like this. They're they're straight to the point, no nonsense. This is a heavy bottle, but it's got some heft to it. The uh, the cap the cap's magnetic. There like there's a lot to enjoy about this whole presentation. It's 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 black tie. It's clean. It's crisp. It smells good. This fragrance company is based out of England, and that will get us into our pricing and availability. Availability wise on this, I actually had to come back and redo this portion because he released a live stream probably two days after I wrapped up this video and pretty much train wrecked uh, my whole availability process of it. So availability wise, the only places to get this from a discounters and or retailers is going to be Max Aroma and Fragrance USA. On his live stream, he did touch on that he is no longer shipping internationally. I guess he's running into some issues with the product 
shipping cost, which shipping internationally, unfortunately, that does happen sometimes. Uh, so for pure availability purposes on this, it is going to be pretty much limited to Facebook groups, Facebook Marketplace, Max Aroma, and Fragrance Buy. And that's according to his live stream that he just put out, I think it was two days ago at this point. Yeah, unfortunately, if you want a bottle of Maverick, that is what you're going to have to do to get it. Uh, any of his fragrances, actually. Like I said, I'm not sure what happened. I don't know. I'm if I if I remember if I heard, if I remember correctly on the live stream, I think he said he was just losing too much overhead. They were just pouring too much money into shipping. Um, he did he did address that he is going to try to set up a bulk long term deal. I think with Fragrance USA. I don't know about Max Aroma, but so if you want to get this, that is pretty much the route you're going to have to go is Facebook Max Aroma or Fragrance USA. But I am going to go ahead and jump from that to the performance of this. This is a perfume concentration. Parfum. This is a parfum concentration. It does last six to eight hours on the skin. It does have good projection. It has amazing sillage. The sillage is actually, this one falls away from you much better than it projects forward on you. I would say six to eight hours on this one. If you did a refresh on this, I don't know that you'd get much more than the eight to ten. I think it would be well enough to do a refresh on this fragrance, just because the you get you get the better blend of the notes. And this this fragrance has been blended beautifully. He did a wonderful job blending this fragrance to where the subtle changes from the opening note to the mid note to the base note they're they're seamless. It is a smooth flowing fragrance for sure. But yeah, that is going to be my final thoughts, and that's going to be my wrap up on this. This is a beautifully blended fragrance. It is very nice. It smells very good. You get such a warm, sweet, vanilla, kind of woody breakdown on this. It's it's sweet enough that it should be able to appeal for everybody. It's warm enough that it's inviting. It's woody enough to be masculine if that's what you're looking for, but you're still gonna have you're still gonna have that deep, deep vanilla smell in this. That the breakdown on this thing is very, very wonderful. Like I said, blended beautifully. But yeah, I think that is gonna wrap up my review on Aaron Tarrant. Go ahead and get in this again. That is going to wrap up my view, review on Aaron Terrence Hughes Maverick. Now, I do think this clone is, getting, is being discontinued soon. I want to say they are going to stop production on this one in November. Now, I don't know if that's going to be for a reformulation or a re-release. He has reformulated a few of his and he has re-released them. So this might be reformulated. This might be discontinued. If you've never tried this, I would definitely try to get a decan of it. I would try it out. Because it's it's a good enough fragrance that I would want this to be in my collection, but if it's discon especially if it gets discontinued, I, there's no way this would be a two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollar fragrance. Unfortunately, it, it does smell wonderful. It's, it is very nice. Just in the fragrance world, whenever they just whenever they get discontinued for some reason, people like to pay way way sometimes one two hundred percent over value. And as much as this fragrance is a wonderfully blended fragrance. I can't see that this being worth that, unfortunately. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for everyone who subscribes. Thank you for everyone that tunes in. And as always, we will see you next time.